To open the POS, double click on the POS icon located on the desktop. Enter in your username and password. Next, select your till number. Then enter your float and press the accept float. Accept the shift by clicking the yes button. Wait for the pumps to show idle before processing any transactions. To begin a sale, you'll need to start off by scanning your items in. Be sure that the cursor is blinking in, this, in the sale line before you start scanning. If by chance you have made a mistake and you need to remove one of the items, highlight the quantity box of that item and then press on the red X. Choose yes to delete this line. To enter a PLU number, simply click on the keypad button located on the screen and enter in your PLU number. If your store has a discount, for example, Pepsi 591 mil 2 for $2, simply scan the second item to get the discount. As you can see, the discount has appeared on the screen. For other non-scannable items, you may find them underneath the hot button. In the screen, you will find multiple buttons for various products. To add a product, simply click on the button itself. To remove the item that you have selected, press the minus button, then press the button you just pressed. To add a different product, press the plus button and add the product. You can add as many products as you want at the same time. When you are done, press done to complete. As you can see, the items have now appeared in the sale line. To change the price for a product, highlight the price field for the product, then click on the keypad button and enter in the new price, followed by the enter button. change the quantity for the product, highlight the quantity field followed by the keypad button, then enter in the new quantity that you desire and press enter. To apply a discount to a line item, click on the discount field on that line item. Press on the keypad button and enter in the discount rate that you'd like to give. Press enter. You'll come to a screen that asks you, is this a percent discount? Press yes for percent, press no for dollar. Next you'll be prompted, what is the reason for the discount? Enter this now and press exit. As you can see, the discount has been applied. To delete a sale line item, start by pressing the up and down arrows on the POS screen to find the item that you would wish to remove. Once you have found the item, make sure the item quantity field is highlighted, then press the red X to delete the item. To suspend a transaction, press the suspend button on the POS. To unsuspend a transaction, press the unsuspend button on the POS and select the sale number you wish to unsuspend. To void an unwanted sale, press the void button on the POS screen. To 
get a discount based on customer name, click on the customer button on the POS. Select the appropriate customer to which the discount is going to be applied to and then complete the transaction. To apply a customer discount while using a customer card, click on the customer button. Next, click on swipe card. Then, swipe your card on the MagStripe reader. To look up a product that has a damaged or missing barcode, click on the stock button. Then choose the method in which you'd like to search for the product, either stock code, description, or alternate code. To look up an item by name, click on description, and then start typing the name of the product. You will see that the item will appear in the list. Once you have found the item, cl click on the item. The item will now appear in the sale line. To accept a payment for a transaction, click on the Accept Tenders button. Locate the tender you wish to use. For cash, make sure that the cursor is blinking in the cash box. Then you can enter the amount that the customer has given you. And then you can complete the transaction with a receipt or without a receipt. If the customer will be completing their purchase with their AR account, select the customer from the customer list, then proceed to, with the accept tenders and select the AR account and then click on the use AR account button. Once done, hit complete with receipt. If the customer will be making their purchase with a credit card or debit card, click on the Accept Tenders button, then select either Interact or Credit Card, then press the corresponding button for that. Then the customer will insert their card or swipe their card and enter their PIN to complete the transaction. If the customer would like to use multiple tenders, click on the Accept Tenders button, then select the first tender and enter the amount that they would like to use. Then click on the second tender and process the second tender. Then complete with receipt. To redeem loyalty points for a purchase, click on loyalty and then select your loyalty member. Then click on accept tenders, select loyalty as your payment type and then use loyalty. Then complete with receipt. If your customer will be paying with exact change and will not require a receipt, Press the exact change button. If you use a customer card or loyalty card system where you issue a card to your customer and they plan on making a purchase, hit accept tenders, then swipe the card in the cash field. Once the payment is complete, press complete with receipt.
When a customer is paying with a fleet card, press accept tenders and then swipe the card while the cursor is in the cash field. Once the payment is complete, press on the complete with receipt button. To reprint the receipt, click on Options, Reprint, then click on Current Sale. Look for the receipt you wish to reprint, highlight the row, then press Reprint. To return a sale, simply click on Options, Return a Sale, then select the item you wish to return. Then you can click on the return for cash sales or correction for debit and credit sales. Select the reason for the refund, then press exit. Then click on accept tenders to choose the tender you wish to return it to or exact change if it's just cash. To end the shift or process the end of date, start by clicking the exit button. Next, answer the question, do you want to close the current till as yes. Do you want to process totalizer reading? Only do this if you want to do a totalizer reading. If not, then press no. Next, click on complete till close. Once complete, press the print, then click on exit. When your pumps first start up, you will have them in the idle state. If a customer were to pick up a nozzle and select a grade, the pump will then turn to calling. For instance, look at pump number one, it is now calling. Now, if you were to authorize the pump, you would click on the pump and authorize it for them. You can now see that the pump is now displaying how much they are pumping. Once the customer is finished pumping, they'll stop and put the nozzle back. Once this happens, a basket will be created on the blue button. To sell this fuel off, you need to bring the sale from the basket to the sale line. To do this, click on the blue button. Once in the sale line, you can complete the transaction as usual. To authorize a pump, simply click on the pump. Once the pump is authorized, it will be in a ready status. To deauthorize the pump, simply click on it one more time. To set up a prepay, click on the prepay button then select the pump you would like to do a prepay on. You will notice that it now says for pump 1 here. Next, enter the dollar amount you wish to pump. Then press enter. Then select the grade in which the customer would like to pump. Then set prepay. Now, once you have finished selling off the transaction, the pump will be ready for pumping.
If you have set a prepay on the wrong pump, you can change which pump the prepay is set on by clicking on prepay, select the pump, then change the number, then hit switch prepay. If the customer does not want his prepay and you would like to delete the prepay, click on prepay, select the pump number, then click on delete prepay, then complete the transaction. If the customer does a prepay and cannot fit the entire prepay in his tank and you are required to give back change, you will notice that the finish button will light up on the POS screen. Click on the finish button and select the pump number of the partial prepay. You have a choice here to complete with change to give the change back to the customer and you also have a complete overpayment if the customer has left without collecting his change. If by chance you accidentally bring down the wrong fuel cell, you can put it back up on the cell line by simply deleting it. Then you will be able to pull down the proper cell. If a customer has pumped and driven away, you need to complete the sale as a runaway. Bring the sale down to the sale line, then click runaway. Then it'll ask you, do you want to complete this transaction as a runaway? You will say yes. If you had a pump tech at your site doing pump tests, simply take all of their transactions and bring them down to the sale line. Next, click on the pump test button to complete the sale. To set the fuel price at the pump, click on the fuel price button. Next, click on the grade you wish to change, either regular or diesel. Enter the new price with the keypad. Once complete, press the set button to send the prices to the pumps. Please note that mid-grade and premium prices are automatically calculated based on the price of regular.